Part and partial of the call for action campaign tomorrow would be to have a forum with government and all stakeholders to look at ways to strengthen the law if need be, ensure the police are more responsive and accountable when dealing with such cases, and to push for the state to provide long-term support systems for victims of family and sexual violence. Uh, way forward for this country is to put trust back to our police. If we don't put trust back to our police department, where else can we go? When, uh, when, when we talk about taking back PNG, it starts with every individual 8 million citizens of this country to have a change of mindset, a change of attitude, and build the trust within our own countrymen. You cannot expect an American or an Australian or a Chinaman to come and make miracle in this country with our laws and our existing problems. We ourselves need to rise up. We need to change inwardly. We need to put back trust where it's supposed to be. Janeline's auntie, who has been very vocal about bringing back public confidence to the existing systems and laws, adds that compensation should be done away with. She stated with the reassuring support of the MENA PNG campaign group. Do not ever think of compensation. Those days, and passing Blatumuna, these are some of the cultural tin that destroys, that suppress the existing laws that we have. The system is failing us. We will push to make compensation a crime. Families who receive compensation must be prosecuted. Because once you get compensation, it just waters down the, the, the crime. Similar sentiments were reiterated by a spokesperson from Janeline's family who made reference to the national handout that was launched by the previous government in 2016 and how this can be better looked at into addressing cases of violence in the country. And if the government can focus more on the strategy and say, wh where did we go wrong? Who is the implementing agency? Mm -hmm. So the family, as, as, as a family, we are saying that uh, there are already laws in place to penalize and uh, uh, send these people to jail and all that. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we don't have to reinvent the wheel again. You know, the statistics are overwhelming. They're already there. Tomorrow's Walk for Janeline campaign is expected to be a catalyst, a call for commitment to address the gaps in the existing system that continues to fail Papua New Guineans seeking justice. All stakeholders, agencies and interested groups are invited to convene at the Parliament House gates at 3 p.m. tomorrow for the walk to begin towards the Sir John Guy's Indoor Complex, where a commemorated vigil will be hosted by the MENA PNG campaign group to observe the call for action on Janeline's death and all other victims of domestic and gender-based violence victims. Annette Cora, National MTV News.